Here's a quick guide on how to crop and resize images in Fusion. There's a few different ways to do it and let's explore. Here we are in Fusion and I have this very nice photo. This same process works for video as well. And if I select my media in, I just have my photo coming in on my media in. And if I select that and hit one on the keyboard, I can bring this up in the left viewer. And if we look towards the upper right of the photo, we see the resolution 2400 by 1601. That's interesting. Anyway, and for a bunch of reasons, you might want to resize this crop it, that kind of thing. Well, in Fusion, there are a lot of ways to do this depending on what you're trying to go for. I think probably the most common thing that you'd want to do would just be to fit this on the screen, you know, in the resolution that you're working in. And the way that you do that is you just merge your higher resolution video over a background or really any image that has the resolution that you want. So this is a 1920 by 1080 background. This is generated in Fusion, and we're just merging it over. And what we get is a 1920 by 1080 image. And we're essentially cropping this still because we're placing it over the background. And you can kind of see if we zoom out that the image is bigger than the background and we're kind of just taking part of it like this. And we can kind of move it around on top of the background and the comp is sized to the background. From there, it'd be a good idea to use a transform node between this high res image, which I'll just rename this, and the merge. We'll just use a transform node like this. And we can use that to resize the image within that canvas, move it around, do all the things that we want to do, kind of pan and scan it. And that I think is probably the most common and easy way to deal with something that's a different resolution. You avoid a lot of problems and headaches by just merging something over a background that is the right size. And again, just for clarity, in Fusion, the composition size is based on the very background node. So here we just have one merge and we have our background connected to the background of the merge. That's the yellow input. If our background were a different size, like I could go into image here and change the size. We'll just make this square. Then it resizes our canvas. And now we have a square aspect ratio. That's because our background is square and we're putting our high res image over our background. And we're just kind of using this transform to figure out which part of the image we want to look at, sort of like looking through a window. Now, there are other reasons why you might wanna do this a little differently. For instance, maybe you're not trying to just grab a part of the image or size it to the canvas. One thing we can do is use a crop node. So I'll just kind of disconnect this here and hit two on the keyboard. So here's our full resolution image. And if I add a crop node, I'll just hit shift space bar and type C-R-O-P. That'll bring up our crop tool in our select tool palette here. I'll hit add and I'll hit two on the keyboard to bring up the crop. And the crop tool will do something kind of similar to what would happen if you just put this over a background. The difference is that you can change the X and Y size here right inside of this node, which can be helpful. Click keep centered and you can kind of crop in a little bit. And so if you don't want to merge over a background, you could do it like this. It's just a little less intuitive because you have to change the X and Y size, and then you'll have to change like the offset to kind of move this around and stuff. There isn't really just a nice way to kind of grab a control and just move it around and kind of pan and scan it. So that's another option. I'll usually use this if I'm wanting to truly crop something and use it maybe multiple times. So for instance, maybe I have this cat picture, which is basically the reason to do any videos on the internet. And maybe we want this to be square, I can crop that. I could put in some kind of square size and change this offset. And then I have this square image, which, you know, I could reuse and, you know, make multiple different icons or something. So yeah, crop is another option. Another tool that kind of goes along with this is the resize tool. Shift space bar, R-E-S-I, this one right here. What resize will do is not just crop things, but it will actually kind of stretch it to a certain resolution. So if you're looking to actually kind of stretch something, change its aspect ratio, that kind of thing, this might be a good way to do it. If you're wanting to make something just a little lower res, this is a quick way. You can keep frame aspect and just kind of drag this down. And it's something where if you don't need that whole big resolution, you can save a little effort doing that. But honestly, 99% of the time, I'll just put a high res image with the transform over a background so that I have a lot of control over what part of the image I see and how big it is. And it's kind of a lot more intuitive controls than a crop. It's just kind of putting it where I want it to be. So I hope that was helpful. Kind of a little dive into the resizing cropping stuff inside of Fusion. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you're a content creator looking to dive into Fusion, you are in the right place. I even have a free video course, the Fusion Survival Guide. Make sure to check that out in the description below. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I hope that you have a wonderful day that is awesome and that your mountains are sized appropriately. <laughs>